you know I'm gonna need your uh, probably need your background. I've seen I've seen 14 different uh, titles on the door, and uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what they what they all are. I mean, a couple of them I do, but uh, mm -hmm. but you know what? You need to touch base on um, your professional background too, as far as an athlete. To me, that's right. I'm gonna put that's it's important because that's, otherwise yes. it's not just some nerd right. talking about right. You know, it's an athletic I'm, nerd. Yes, exactly. yes, that's yes. the way I look at it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I was an elite power lifter for, uh, I would say, over 10 years. So my uh, opinions are not just that of science and, and other things, but of uh, from experience, experience and, and basically uh, the knowledge within my own sport and, and, and such. Uh, uh, yeah, get ready to go hard. Uh, Here we go. Now, we're talking about arm wrestling here. Now, you do have some experience with the arm wrestling too, not so much as a competitor, but you have your favorite client What's in the whole world. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Here's my wife. Oh. And the gun show. And you've gone to, well, I tell people that you even went to our event to to uh, give yourself more knowledge on. You know, I was, right. I, it was crazy when I came in here, you had uh, your uh, books out to make sure that you were covering every aspect of the elbow. That, that to me, was impressive, you know? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, you can't memorize everything. Right. And, uh, you know, you kind of know your ideas, but you always go to your books to make sure. But I need to know about my athletes when I treat them. I need to know about... All my patients is as best as possible, but my athletes in particular, I gotta understand the sport in order to really treat the patient correctly. Now you're aware that uh, you're uh, again your uh, favorite patient uh, had a uh, a match with a uh, transgender, and I I'd actually look up. I looked up the what was I, I couldn't figure out what the difference between a transgender and a transsexual was. I, I think transgender is someone who and I'd have to look. This I, up. I, did, I, I think yeah, transgender I think is someone who identifies themselves as a the other sex. Where I think uh, a transsexual it's very similar and it's different from a transvestite. To me, yeah, yeah, obviously, obviously, yeah, obviously, a male. Who has been uh, who has been transitioned into a female, but has been a male, well at least through puberty, if not longer, has had a higher level of testosterone than a genetic female, ten times as much. Women have one tenth the testosterone of men. That is a statistical fact. I looked it up. I looked uh, it up. You know, uh, you know there's, there's pluses and minus with every person has different levels. <laughs> Now, I, I did look at, um, I was looking at some studies last night, and I know you went into some too, and it said, uh, it, it said in the studies that with the, uh, with the testosterone blockers and the extra, estradiol, 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 estradiol? Uh, yeah, that within two years, the bone density and the muscle uh, size or qu quantity shrinks down to uh, within two years, it's actually this is what some of the studies are saying. Mm -hmm. Within two years, that that level is close to the female level without the without the testosterone surging through their body, and so their bones actually supposedly get less dense. Which, you, do you believe that's true? Oh well, yeah, an osteoporotic male. Yes, uh, my patients who are osteoporotic, I've had a couple of them. I immediately sent them to the doctors because I said your testosterone level is low. Right. Sure enough, it was low. Uh, one guy was also taking, uh, drinking a ton of soy milk, which has uh, estrogen type qualities to it. So basically, that was also one of the, the, the issues he was on. So yeah, that's absolutely correct. Well, the question I have though, if, if that's the case, if after two years of treatment, Mm -hmm. for these transgenders after they've gone through their, their surgery or whatever. Wouldn't that bring them down to a level, if their bones are smaller, if they're not as dense, well, I have to mm -hmm. say not as dense, if their muscles are smaller and their bones aren't as dense, wouldn't that put them 
kind of a more of an even keel with the women in their weight class or no? Theoretically, I'd like to look at the studies and see if these people were weight training at the time. I got you, okay. 